Hi, y'all. This is Mr. Duxon, and I'll be your instructor for this Algebra 1 presentation titled Solving Equations in More Than One Verb. In an earlier presentation, we looked at some of the guidelines for solving an equation in one variable, and we learned that it basically meant finding a simpler equation, which required one to know how an equation could be transformed to yield another equation equivalent to the original. We discovered that there are two ways this can be accomplished. First, through the use of substitution, and secondly, by arithmetic operations, which involves adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing both sides of the equation to, by, or from the same real number. Choose an elementary transformation so that all of the terms involving the variable are on one side of the equation, and all of the numerical values are on the other. We also saw that this process often involves combining like terms and or removing grouping symbols before performing the appropriate elementary transformations. And finally, we learned that once an answer is obtained, it's best to check the solution by substituting the answer back into the original equation to make sure the resultant statement is true. Now we're going to learn how to find a solution when given an equation involving more than one variable, which is going to help prepare us for learning how to solve word problems. We'll also take a look at how to represent relationships algebraically, which will also help prepare us for learning how to solve word problems. So let's look at how to find a solution when given an equation involving more than one variable. In such cases, what we need to do is solve the